Have you ever seen a Krenzla pulling out of the water? Down by the bay. That's right, today we're gonna be finding a way to pull water out of the bay. So, <clears throat> your Kranzla pressure washer in its wonderful design is capable of self-priming. So what that means is that if we give it the opportunity, the pressure washer will pull water to itself. Uh, this size Kranzla pressure washer can draw a few feet of vertical lift if we have a really solid connection. So if you're down by the bay, so to speak, if you're at your pier or maybe uh, on the shoreline, uh, you can take and use what we call a foot valve or a suction filter assembly to feed your Kronzla bay water or creek water so that you can pressure wash without needing a force fed water supply. So this assembly right here comes standard in a 10 foot length it's hose that we crimp ourselves on one end, and then you have the ability to shorten it on the other end with your hose clamp. This component right here is both a strainer assembly as well as a check valve. So once water feeds through this side, it's not gonna drain back through. So if I take this hose, first what I wanna do is, is fill it with water. So I'll submerge it underneath the water, get all the air bubbles out. <clears throat> If I hook it up to my pressure washer, which has already been pre-primed with water from a hose spigot, we can hook up the, this hose to the pump and it'll draw water to itself. Now, like I said, this is one of the smaller units, so it has it's limited in what vertical distance it can draw. You might have to play around with where it's sitting in order to be able to get it to siphon from the height that you're at. And you also want to make sure that the strainer end of your foot valve assembly isn't sitting in the muck. You know, here in Baltimore, we have a uh, wonderful Chesapeake Bay, but certain parts of the bottom of the bay are more mucky or sandy than others. If this falls down into that, this puppy is not gonna be drinking any water out of the bay. So make sure you got a good clean area that it can, can be suspended in the water, have it primed up to the pump. When you first start the pump up with it primed, do so without having your high pressure hose connected. That allows the water to push through the pump and completely prime through, get all the air bubbles purged out of your hose assembly. And then uh, that will, uh, you wanna do that because without the high pressure hose, there's no restriction on the outbound side. So once we've got water purged through, we turn it off for just a moment to hook up our hose, fire it back up, and you're ready to wash. So now you can pressure wash down by the bay where the watermelons grow. I did it this corny way because I have little kids and they're going to appreciate, appreciate it. So I hope you do too. Thank you for joining me, the original Josh with Kronza USA, pressure washer perfection. Kronza USA, pressure washer perfection.